You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and you are about to see a familiar face on Greater Brockton. He's only here on my show once a year, maybe a couple of times, but he's on a regular on TV, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's Reverend Houston Creighton. Yeah, how Jim, you doing? Welcome. Good how you to doing? see you. Same Always here. best dressed. Same, okay. Always get the bow tie. You sharp looking. Trying to represent. That's I'm all. still trying to hold on to the <laughs> end of summer because I'm. Uh -huh. I'm I, I, I don't like to put on the suit and tie too much. But anyway, mm -hmm. you have a big event coming up. Um, oh, yeah. A few events. We had uh, your sister on for another okay. event that you're okay. doing. Yeah. But what we're talking about is Lincoln Church Ministries mm -hmm. are celebrating your 119th year of That's ministry. Right. That's, That's right. amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, thank you for the congregation and people of Brockton, the community at large. Um, Had not been for them, you know, the Lord on our side, you know, it's, a, it's I, been a blessing. I've known you a long time. We've oh, yeah. been doing stuff back, I, I can even say it, I started in cable in 83 in Brockton. That's when we... And that's when I <laughs> that's was right. lucky enough to that's meet right. you. So that's a that's long right. time ago. Then I left for a while, now I'm back. That's right. I've uh, been back for 23 years. Wow, okay? that's And great. you've been there for quite a while. Yeah. Good for yeah. you. So it says in the beautiful flyer that I have in front of me, Upon this rock, I will build my church. Yes. One, two, three, four days of ministry, events, education. Right. Tell us about it. Yeah. Well, um, we, we always look at that as an important time to, to reflect mm -hmm. and to be thankful. And, and just like uh, the Lord told uh, Israel when they crossed the Jordan to build monuments, set rocks up to remember what I've done for you. Remember the, remember the support that you get. Remember the resources that were supplied uh, from heaven. And so we, uh, it's a time of gratefulness and thankfulness in terms of the church, what God has done for us and the community at large. So um, we, we find it a very uh, numinous occasion uh, uh, as far as the church is concerned. So uh, upon this rock, I build my church. Uh, wherever there is good, there is evil. There's a juxtaposition between good and evil. Wherever something great is and good is going on, there's always something that's negative. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, that is our job, to, to, to uh, supply the light for the community and, uh, and to try to erase darkness and those things that are negative and those things that are evil as part of our calling as the church. And so uh, it's, it's a time in our history that we um, like to reflect on our mission and also on uh, the one who sent us. So it's an important occasion annually, 119 years. I wasn't here for 119 years, but... I know that. <laughs> I, so it starts on October 12th, That's right. which is right after Columbus Day weekend. I think that's a Monday, or mm -hmm. I'm not sure my date yet mm -hmm. for October. But you have different people coming. Yes, that, yes. Are, that are guests, yes. ministers, guests, mm -hmm. reverends, bishops, everything. That's right. Tell us who. Well, on on, on that Sunday, uh, Reverend Minyard Culpepper, who is a nephew of Sam Bullock the third, who used to be the pastor here at Lincoln, 1976 in the late 70s. Uh, uh, he's uh, the pastor of. Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, and he was related to one of the past pastors, and his father was a bulwark in the Boston community in terms of uh, ministry. He'll be delivering the message on that Sunday. We have um, Apostle Edward Campbell of New Jerusalem Tabernacle, a prayer for all people. You know, you know all his sons are great football players. They play for Brock and High BC, and uh, they have a rich ministry, uh, I believe, in Middleborough. Uh, Apostle Edward Campbell, New Jerusalem, will be there. And on the 13th of October, Reverend Larry Green from Timothy Baptist in Boston, who we've known over the years, and Bishop Arthur F. Jack of Holy Tabernacle in Boston, one of the premier churches in Boston, who we fellowshiped over the years. Our minister of music, Elder Hugh White, is also a minister there. Mm -hmm. And so um, he'll be coming on that Friday night. So we have a great lineup of preachers and choirs. Uh, our, we have very celebrative services you know, with our a full band, keyboards, bass, guitar, and drums, and we're we, uh, a church that believes in the celebrative, nat celebrative nature of the church. So it's going to be a, a high time, as we say, in the Lord. 
So uh, Good question because when you had your <laughs> opening two years ago, outstanding mm -hmm. celebration, dedication yes. ceremony, yeah. the energy was in the room. Oh, yeah. It was packed. Oh, yes. Two years successful over there. Oh yes, oh um, yes. But a proud history. Oh yes. You're gearing very, up very. for 120. That's oh, yeah. that'll be oh, yeah. a big one next year too. Good blessing. Um, what if, would people expect coming to to any of these events? What, what, what would they see? What would they experience? What kind of participation would they have? Oh, well, joy, mm -hmm. joy and a um, uh, 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 feeling of hope and, and optimism, especially in the time that we're living. There'll be messages of hope. And also uh, the, the, Christian the Christian message is a message of hope. And, and they'll be able to worship and praise uh, along with those who are leading in worship. And, um, and to understand that Lincoln Church, although we've been in the community, uh, the historic Lincoln Congregational Church has been in the community for over 119 years, uh, our endeavor is not to be a monument, but a movement. And, and that's the problem today. So many things are just monuments, it's just artifacts. Mm -hmm. They're museums and mausoleums. We want to be a movement. We want to be a living thing. The church is the mystical body of Christ is a living thing. And so we want to be alive in the community. And we are very active in terms of the community. And we want people to know what we're about. That the, the spirituality reaches out into the natural. All ages. All ages. Just looking, you, you said there's a lot of competing interests these days oh, yeah. on a Sunday right. morning for people right. coming to church or yeah. even at night. How do you entice, and they, they gave me the three-minute cue, we got about two minutes left. So how do you entice the young people? How are you going to get someone we to have come a, to We this? have a children's church mm -hmm. that's outstanding, second to none. Uh, Deaconess Karen Penn leads that. So uh, the kids have their their little services and they, they uh, go through their things that would challenge them mm -hmm. as, as youngsters. But the young people, a lot of them are really uh, connected with the musical aspects of the service. Sure. Because we, uh, we do all the latest in the contemporary the praise songs as well as the traditional mm -hmm. gospel and so forth, even do quartet style. It's a, it's a little something for everybody and the word uh, meets everybody at their level and, and uh, passes a skill uh, in terms of doing that with the tire. So they just get a, a little bit on TV, but yes. they have to go for the oh, yeah. real experience. Oh, yeah. If you we want the real experience, you've got to be there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's something you wouldn't want to miss. Okay. So let me just run down the dates again for our viewers. Um, again, 119 years of ministry, Lincoln Church Ministries. Upon this rock, I will build my church. That's Matthew 16, mm -hmm. 18. Um, it's October 12th, 13th, 14th, and 16th. The mm -hmm. only thing in the middle that's not going to be there is the Saturday. Right, right. Okay, and I'm sure you accept donations from oh, people sure. that want to help sure. the church Should ministry. Always use that. Oh, okay, sure. but you want people. You that's want right. people to that's be right. part of the whole program. Ministry of presence, I call it. I love it. So we'll follow up with you. Okay. And. Uh, Glad we can help you promote Thank, it. I really appreciate this. Thanks for all Thank you, you do. Thank you, Brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.